1952, two nuns from the St. Carthas Monastery in Romania are attacked by an unknown evil force. After one of them enters a tunnel to retrieve an ancient Christian relic, Sister Victoria, the surviving nun, flees the attacker, a demon disguised as a nun, and hangs herself. Frenchy, a villager who transports supplies to the nuns, discovers her body. The Vatican learns of the incident and summons Father Burke to Rome, where he is asked to travel to Romania with Sister Irene, a Novitiate nun, to investigate the situation. Sister Irene is teaching children in a school about the relationship between religion and science. When her mother superior interrupts her and informs her that Burke has arrived to request Irene's company on his trip to Romania, the two travel to Romania, where they meet Frenchy, who leads them to the Abbey. They find Victoria's body and take a key from it. Inside, they meet the abbess, who informs them that the nuns observe a period of silence at night and offers them lodging at the attached convent if they wish to return the following day. As he returns to the village, Frenchy is attacked by a demon, but escapes. Burke tells Irene that a previous boy he exorcised, Daniel, was fatally injured during the ritual, and Burke has had to bear the burden of the boy's death. Irene reveals that as a child, she had visions that ended with Mary points the way, causing the church to take an interest in her. That night, Burke is rescued by Irene after being buried alive in the graveyard by the demonic entity. The next day, Irene and Burke return to the abbey, but only Irene is allowed in because it is cloistered. She meets other nuns and learns that they are constantly praying to keep the entity at bay. Sister Oana reveals that the abbey was built in the Dark Ages as a castle for the Duke of St. Carta, a powerful aristocrat obsessed with the occult. The Duke summoned the demon through a rift in the catacombs, but was killed by Christian knights who sealed the rift with a vial filled with Christ's blood. However, bombings during World War II reopened the rift, releasing the entity. Burke recognizes the demon as Valak and discovers that the abbess has been dead all along. Frenchy returns to the abbey to help Irene and Burke. Irene is attacked by Valak and joins the nuns in desperate prayer to ward off the demon. When the group reunites, Irene discovers that none of the nuns she had seen and talked to were real, and she had been praying alone. She later realizes that Sister Victoria was the last nun in the abbey, and she had sacrificed herself to prevent Valak from possessing her body and unleashing evil. The trio retrieves the vial with the key Victoria possessed, reasoning that the only way to stop Valak is to seal the rift with the blood of Christ contained in the reliquary. Irene informs Burke that God has called her to make solemn vows as a nun and requests that he elevate her to the status of a professed nun, which he does in the Abbey Chapel. After the trio unlocks the tunnel door, Irene is drawn into a pentagram and possessed by Valak. Frenchie smears some of Christ's blood on her face, casting out the demon. Burke is injured by Daniel's ghost as Valak begins to drown Irene in a flooded chamber. Irene expels blood of Christ in the demon's face, banishing it as the rift closes. After Frenchy revives Irene, he reveals his name is Maurice. Unknown to the others, Maurice has been possessed by Valak, as evidenced by an inverted crucifix on the back of his neck. Twenty years later, at a university seminar in Wakefield, Massachusetts, Carolyn Perrin watches as Ed and Lorraine Warren show footage of their attempt to exorcise a possessed Maurice. In the video, Maurice grabs Lorraine and gives her visions of Ed dying. Thanks for watching. To catch all the latest from us, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified as soon as a new video drops. We'll see you in the next one.